Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial and here I'm going to be showing you how to do keyword and niche research on your mobile phone. So in previous videos, in previous tutorials, we've looked at how to do keyword research using um, the laptop, the system, and I feel that those who do not have laptops uh, have been disadvantaged and I want to be able to show you how to actually get this from your mobile phone, all right? So I've talked about extensions to actually help you achieve effective keyword and niche research. And the ones we've looked at are the um, self-publishing titans tool, that's the SEO tool by the self-publishing titans that helps you to verify the profitability of your niche, all right? And I've, um, I did told you that with a Kiwi browser, you would actually be able to install those extensions on your mobile phone, but then I hadn't showed you how to do it just yet. and um, in this video, I want to be able to show you how to do that. All right. So um, if you check, you would see that that key, um, that um, extension is right here on my mobile phone. Right. You can see self-publishing titans. You know, you know how I use the tool while showing you how to do it on mobile. Whenever you type something here and then um, this place, you, you would see this place where you're seeing this, um, this button here, it will be able to show you you know, if the keyword is profitable or not by, you know, it gives you a score, all right? So the score is what will be able to determine if your niche is profitable or not. And I did advise that a score of 50 and above is recommended, all right? So um, because my network is not exactly very good, so the, the score would not show in time, all right? But then if you're doing yours, you'll be able to see the score, especially if you're in a place where you have excellent, network coverage you'll be able to see that score immediately all right but then mine has been loading like forever you know and it's quite unfortunate so um i'm going to be showing you how to get this kiwi browser on your phone and how to also get the extension running on your phone all right it's not difficult at all all you just need to do is to go to your google play store and then type the kiwi browser all right just type kiwi go to your google play store and type kiwi and then you'll be able to install it, all right? So let me show you how to do that. So this is Google Play Store, okay? Let it wait to load. So it's, it's really not difficult at all. Do I'm not going to be installing it anymore because I already did. But then it's actually very simple. I just want to be sure, I just want to show you how it looks like when you actually do this on your own phone, all right? Okay. So when you're on your Play Store, just go ahead and type Kiwi. Kiwi, okay? So you'd see um, Kiwi browser fast and quiet. So when you, once, you click, once you click on it and then download it, then you can install it to your mobile phone. And then after downloading it and installing it, it would look something like this on your phone, right? So you can see this. This, this icon here, you know, it might actually look like this on your phone or it might have this bed-like logo, all right? So all you just need to do is to click on it, all right? So click on the browser itself and then start to type whatever it is you're typing. You know, it's just like a search 
engine itself just like google but then um kiwi browser is actually um it's it's been programmed for certain other kind of browsing right like you can browse there's a way you can browse on kiwi and people won't be able to track you all right people won't be able to track you like if you're i think if you're if if you use the kiwi browser um facebook pixels may not work for you because people won't like you won't be you will be untrackable kind of i think that is one of the ways that kiwi browser actually works all right so um all you just need to do is to come to the search bar and type whatever extension you want to type like this is self-publishing titans extension we have ds you know i also talked about the ds amazon quick view and then you know i um i can't exactly figure the name of this the exact name of this extension by the self-publishing titans well maybe you type it in when you type self-publishing titans in right just click on this and then it will take you to you'll see some search results so from the search results you'll be able to now determine which exactly um you're going to be using all right so let's just wait for it to load and then this is it this is this um the kdp slash amazon bsr and keyword research seo tool so that's the one i'm talking about so all you just need to do is to click on it and then it will take it to the um the chrome the chrome extension web store and then you will be able to install it as an extension on your mobile phone so let's see how that works all right So here we are on the Chrome Web Store, and um, you can see it's same extension. So all you just need to do is to is to click on the Install button, and then you'll be able to install it. It's not difficult at all. But then I would, I won't be doing it again because I already did it on my phone. So you can see that it's not going to be showing me to install again. Rather, it's going to be showing me to remove from Chrome because I had already installed it. All right. So for you, just click on Install. And then you'll be able to install it immediately. Then that is how you're going to be doing um, for every other tool, for every other extension, or for any other tool that you are finding it difficult to actually install on your mobile phone. All right. So after installing it, you can now um, use the same browser to do your keyword research, you know, do your keyword research on Amazon KDP. And to do that, all you just need to do is to you can click on this three dotted icon here and then go to amazon all right but since i was already on amazon all i just need to do is to go back all right then i'll start my keyword research for whatever it is that i'm looking to do so in this case i actually want to write a book around beekeeping so all i just need to do is to um type type in the keyword type in the original keyword and then start to do my keyword verification all right so I'll just type beekeeping for beginners or beekeeping. So you can see now that it's going to be giving me different keywords. And um, I, I actually um, I actually installed, I also installed the Amazon. Um, um, I was trying to install the the other two, the other SEO two, the other keyword two, but then I think it did not install successfully. But then if you're using a mobile phone, this should actually do. And then also this, this keywords that um, Amazon also suggests should also do, right? So um, I'm, I'm also gonna be showing you another way you could do keyword research on Google as well. Sorry, on, yes, on Google Chrome, all right? So all I just need to do is to um, enter the keyword that better suits my search like beekeeping for beginners, I'll just click on this one and let's see. You know, um, it's, it's, these things are actually more easier when you're using a laptop, but then I do understand that you may not actually have access to a laptop right now. So you can just make do with what you have for now. All right, just make do with what you have for now and um, I've seen people who have done millions, who have done over fifteen thousand dollars with their mobile phone, designing, designing, um, coloring books with their mobile phone. So I believe that you can also do this as well. So you can see now that 
um, I've typed in my keyword and then the self-publishing Titan tool has actually appeared. You know, if my network was strong enough, I should have gotten the niche um, score here already, all right? So following all the methods that I've shown you to do your keyword and niche research, just go on ahead and then um, do your niche and keyword research, all right? So be keeping for beginners. If this were actually a good keyword, if my keyword was actually good, and um, I like if, if I have gotten a niche score that is that I actually like, all I just need to do is to use um since I'm doing this on mobile phone, all I just need to do is to now um get a note, a note and um a, a pen, right? I'll just get a note, a note and a pen, and then I'll note down this keyword, and then I'll note the keyword niche score against it. Right, then I would go again. Right, I taught you several methods to actually do your keyword research. Right, so I'll go again. So, let's say for instance, I've seen um, BKP for beginners. Then, this other keyword now that this person used for his um, for his um, what's it called? This, this, this keyword that he used for his subtitle, I will now go again and research it how to raise your first big colonies. Right, so I'll go, I'll now go to the search again and I'll enter how to raise how to raise your first B colonies, right? And then I'll enter it in the search. I'm wondering why this um, keyword needs score is not showing. It's actually supposed to show. I'm just wondering why it's not showing. I want to believe it's actually network issues, right? Because it's because I've seen someone done it and it's actually showed. So I believe it's actually network issues, right? So after verifying the keyword need score as satisfactory, I would also go on and note it on it um, with a pen and paper, right? And then I'll also note the, the need score against this. So after I've done my keyword and need um, research and I've verified that this um, this niche or and, and the, the the keywords right the key the niche and the keywords you know i've gotten my um seven keyword tags and then i've gotten all the other like my subtitles and my titles and all all i just need to do is to now go ahead and write my book and then when i'm um entering it on amazon kdp you know i'll now these keywords will now feature in my title my subtitle my seven keyword tags and also in my description all right so these are the keywords that i'll now use to spray my book with so that my book can rank on the first page of Amazon KDP, right? So by now, I believe that you should be conversant with keyword and niche research. So this is actually, um, this is an actual book that I plan to write because I had actually done the niche research and the keyword research on my laptop before now, and I did verify that it is a good, um, it is actually, it, ha it has very good prospects, all right? So you could also go ahead and, you know, do the same. You could go ahead and write, um, and work on work on the book as well, right? You can even do a color because what I'm what I usually do right now is that for each um high content book I create, for each PDF book I create, I accompany it with a low content book, right? So 